So the total cost for the structural engineer to review the property, design the steel beams, have the steel beams fabricated, get them installed into the property and get building controls to come and review the whole installation. That has cost us in total, excluding VAT, Okay, so the first thing that we need to do in this property, now that we've got it, is we wanna open up that downstairs area and make it a beautiful open plan kitchen diner. As you've seen it already, we've got a very narrow kitchen, or temporary kitchen as it were, right up against that wall. Then there's a big old loop that we've gotta go around to get into what is the living space, because for some reason, that room was Covered up, boarded up, bricked in, blocked off. So the, the layout of the property currently makes no sense downstairs. So the plan is we want to knock that wall through, open it up. So on that note, we went and got a structural engineer to basically come into the property, have a look around and ultimately tell us what exactly we need to do if we're going to knock through a wall. Is it a load bearing wall? or is it just a wall that we can open up? And if it is a load bearing wall, what support do we need to put in place to make sure that when we knock this wall through, the house doesn't just collapse on itself? So we reached out to a local structural engineering company called Simplify Structural Engineering. They do everything from new builds, extensions, renovations, all that good stuff. So we got them down, had them to check out the property, and what they essentially did was they drawed up the plans for the steel beams that would need to be put into the property. So the cost to have a guy come out, check the property, draw up some plans for exactly what we need to put in the property, that cost us basically 400 pound for them to come down, scope the place out, and then come up with some designs for the steel support that needed to be put into the house. Now, a big question a lot of people might be asking is, do I actually need a structural engineer to tell me that the wall I'm gonna knock down is a load bearing wall? Realistically, yes. Any work that you do on a property that's gonna quite literally change the structure of it, it's probably best to consult a structural engineer to make sure that you don't have the worst happen. Because hey, we'd rather be safe than sorry, and we'd rather prevent the house from collapsing for the sake of what is a relatively small fee to get a professional to come out and tell us what is okay and what is not okay. So yeah, any alterations to the structure of the property really does need a structural engineer to come out and check it out. So we had the privilege of one of the guys coming over, checking out the property, they sized it up, did a load of calculations, and they then went away and provided us with a design for the steel beam structure that would need to be in place because that wall is a load bearing wall. And once we take that out, that's actually a, quite a big void or big open space that we need to support. So it's quite a design that has been recommended. Once we've got the designs, we then need to take that to a company in this case, Dixon's Engineering, who will fabricate the steel, they will also help install that as well. Now we've got a price for fabrication and installation, and the total cost for that, remember XVAT, is 4,600 pounds. The breakdown of that is the steel alone has cost us 2,105 pounds, and then the installation is costing us 2,495 pounds. So a total of £4,600, excluding VAT, to get this big steel installed into the property to make this beautiful open kitchen diner that we're really looking forward to. Now, if you want to see what that installation looks like and if you want to hear from Jack Dixon as we talk about it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video when it drops very soon. Now, there is one more step once we have the steel beams installed is we also need a uh, building control to come around and make sure that the installation has been done properly. So they need to come around, check the installation, check it's bolted into the ground correctly, check it's in the walls correctly, ch check it's all there safe and secure. And they also need to review once we've boxed it all in, boarded it and plastered it just for a final sign off to make sure everything is okay with the installation. And the privilege of that is another 163 pounds out of the budget. Again, XVAT. Now the price on that may vary as was Northwest Leicestershire building control that came with it as. It might vary from county to county. So just check those. But as well as like I say, 163 pound excluding VAT. So the total cost for the structural engineer to review the property, 
design the steel beams, have the steel beams fabricated, get them installed into the property and get building controls to come and review the whole installation. That has cost us in total, excluding VAT, £5,163. That's a sizable chunk of the budget already taken up just on this small, I say small, it's actually quite a big job. Arguably the biggest job in the property though, but I really think this property is going to be phenomenal once it's finished, once we open that space up, that downstairs kitchen diner area is gonna look truly fantastic. To make sure you don't miss the progress on this build, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss every new video that comes out. We are documenting this journey. We're sharing the prices with you, the facts and the figures as we go this time so you know just what it's costing us and whether we can keep in budget. So to see if we really do stay in budget, hit subscribe, follow the channel, and we will see you again in the next video.